Uh, wait a minute, let me think for a moment. Genevieve. No, no by golly, I was wrong, Thorny. It was. The show was a major hit in the 1950s, and the television of audience growth came about with its perfectly timed airing. Ozzy and Harriet personified the typical 1950s TV couple, with Ozzy portrayed as a lovable goof, and Harriet as the quintessential housewife, always in the kitchen. Their sons Ricky and David grew up before viewers' eyes, dealing with teenage worries such as prom dates and borrowing dad's car. Unfortunately, the cast faced tragedies, with Ozzy, Harriet, Ricky, and David all passing away from various illnesses or accidents. Despite their departures, the remaining cast and crew have shared insightful stories about the beloved show over the years. The legacy of the cast lives on in the memories of those who cherish the on-screen family dynamics. Oh, go ahead, I'll walk you to the door. I don't quite how to begin this, Dave. Harriet, born Peggy Lou Snyder in Des Moines, Iowa, grew up in a theatrical family. Her acting career began at age three, and she was on Broadway by 13. She married comedian Roy Sedley in 1930, but separated the next year due to alleged abuse. I think I'll go upstairs and kind of dress up a little bit too. Do I have a clean shirt somewhere? Well, you're not going to change your clothes too, are you? In 1932, Harriet met Ozzy while performing in vaudeville, leading to their marriage in 1935. Ozzy's band, the Ozzy Nelson Orchestra, found success in the 1940s. Following appearances on the Red Skelton show, they ventured into their own show. Bad idea, but I think I have a better one. Okay, suit yourself. I'll see you later. In 1952, Ozzy was unsure about featuring his kids, David and Ricky, on the radio program. However, Bing Crosby persuaded Ozzy to allow his sons to participate, ultimately paving the way for their prosperous careers. In David Halberstam's book, The 50s, the challenges faced by David and Ricky due to their father Ozzy are discussed in detail. The influence of Bing Crosby, and the family pressure on the boys played significant roles in shaping their journey in the entertainment industry. The adventures of Ozzy and Harriet became a platform that launched the boys into the spotlight, thanks to Bing Crosby's encouragement and the dynamics within their family. The show not only showcased their talents, but also highlighted the complexities of navigating fame as young performers under the guidance of their father. A very nice book and I like it very much. Okay, okay, you don't have to get sore at me. At the young age of 17, Ricky quickly became a teen idol, capturing the hearts of many fans. His rise to fame included a notable role in the film Rio Bravo in 1959, where he showcased his talents beyond music. However, his journey into adulthood was marked by personal challenges. Ricky married Kristen Harmon in what was described as a shotgun wedding, a reflection of the hurried circumstances surrounding their union. Despite their love, the couple encountered numerous marital problems, facing the typical strains of young marriage along with the pressures of fame. Tragically, Ricky's life came to a sudden end in a plane crash in 1985. Initially, speculation surrounded his death, with substance use being blamed, leading to much public discussion. However, investigations later revealed that the crash was actually caused by a heater fire, shedding light on the unforeseen dangers that could lurk even in seemingly safe situations. The complexities of Ricky's life, from his rise as a teen idol to his untimely death, paint a vivid picture of a man navigating fame while dealing with personal struggles. Oh, and there's turkey surprise, there's turkey upside down cake, there's turkey pudding. Kristen's struggles after Ricky's death led to a battle for custody of their son Sam. Ozzy focused on his health, but succumbed to liver cancer in 1975 at age 69. The Nelson brothers' upbringing on set mirrored the surreal experience depicted in The Truman Show. Well, I like you too, Oz. <laughs> Say you're a swell guy. The TV series' portrayal of the Nelson family was idealized and different from their real lives. The show remains significant in American TV history, influencing the concept of the TV family. Despite the idealized portrayal, it had a lasting impact on how families were depicted on television. The legacy of the show lies in its influence on future family-oriented TV programs, setting a standard for family dynamics on screen. The Nelson family's on-screen adventures captivated audiences and set the stage for the evolving landscape of family-centered television shows. Over time, the show's legacy has continued to shape the portrayal of family life on TV, leaving a lasting impression on the medium's storytelling. Oh, no, don't you remember I told you yesterday, Thorny and I are the only ones dressing up. Say, we better hurry. Catherine's waiting next door for us. Oh, yeah. In the 1950s, a popular TV show about a family hit the screens, 
it showcased the daily lives and antics of a typical American household. The show featured a dad, a mom, and their two sons. Viewers loved tuning into the family's adventures and misadventures. This TV series became a significant part of American culture during that era. It provided a glimpse into the idealized suburban life of the time. The show's portrayal of family dynamics and humorous situations resonated with audiences across the country, making it a beloved classic. The adventures of Ozzy and Harriet captured the essence of family values and wholesome entertainment that people still remember fondly today. Dancing class. Let's see. Yep. I would guess it's just about time for the... The casting process for the 1952 TV series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was meticulous and thorough. Each key actor was chosen after rigorous auditions and chemistry tests. Ozzy and Harriet were played by the real-life couple Ozzy Nelson and Harriet Hilliard. Their natural chemistry and charm won over the casting directors immediately. David and Ricky, their sons on the show, were played by David Nelson and Ricky Nelson, Ozzy and Harriet's real sons. Their familial bond translated beautifully on screen, making the casting decision a no-brainer. The pivotal moments that defined the casting were the auditions where the actors showcased their talent and chemistry, ultimately securing their roles in the iconic TV series. Larry, isn't that a beauty? Now hold up, little son, you're blocking your mother's face. Not only that, the regulation poop, the regulation net, the whole... The directorial vision behind the 1952 TV series, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet focused on portraying a wholesome family life through a comedic lens. The director aimed to showcase relatable family dynamics while infusing humor into everyday situations, drawing creative influences from traditional family values and the experiences of typical American households. The director sought to bring authenticity to the characters and their interactions. In terms of style, the director favored a light-hearted, and feel-good approach, emphasizing the importance of family unity and love. Through collaboration with the cast and crew, the director encouraged a warm and friendly atmosphere on set to enhance the sense of familial bond portrayed on screen. Working closely with the actors, the director guided performances to highlight the humor and heartwarming moments within the family's adventures. Overall, the directorial vision sought to create a series that celebrated the joys and challenges of family life resonating with audiences through its genuine and endearing portrayal of the Ozzy and Harriet Nelson's family dynamic. Getting cold. I'll keep my coat buttoned up. You better or you get mobbed. Can't you just see me work? During the production of the 1952 TV series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, the set design focused on creating a cozy and believable home environment for the Nelson family. The locations used for filming included a suburban house that served as the Nelson family residence providing a familiar backdrop for the show's domestic scenes. Logistical challenges during filming often revolved around coordinating the schedules of the cast and crew, managing props and costumes, and ensuring smooth transitions between scenes. Innovative techniques and technologies employed during production included the use of multiple cameras to capture different angles simultaneously, allowing for more efficient filming and editing. Additionally, the show utilized pre-recorded music and sound effects to enhance the viewing experience and create a more polished final product. Overall, the production of The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet in 1952 was a blend of traditional set design and filming techniques with emerging technologies aimed at improving efficiency and quality in television production. Managed to put away six or seven. Well, what about your Aunt Ellen? Well, she's fine. <laughs> The musical score and soundtrack of the 1952 TV series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet were carefully crafted to amplify the narrative and emotional tone of the show. Composers and musicians worked collaboratively to create music that heightened the audience's connection to the characters and storylines. The melodies and harmonies mirrored the lighthearted family themes of the series, enhancing comedic moments with playful tunes and underscoring poignant scenes with emotive music. Through a blend of orchestral arrangements and catchy tunes, the soundtrack became an integral part of the overall viewing experience, weaving seamlessly with the on-screen action to evoke a range of feelings in the audience. Musicians poured their creativity and talent into each piece, ensuring that the music not only complemented, but elevated the storytelling, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. In the iconic scenes of the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, the direction highlighted the family dynamics with warmth and humor, 
drawing viewers into relatable everyday experiences. The performances by the actors showcase genuine chemistry, especially between Ozzy and Harriet, creating a sense of authenticity that resonated with audiences. Cinematography captured the nostalgic charm of 1950s suburbia, immersing viewers in a cozy and inviting world. These moments left a lasting impact on the audience by celebrating family values and showcasing the joys and challenges of domestic life. Filmmakers and actors alike praise the show for its ability to connect with viewers on a personal level, making it a beloved classic of television history. Well, that's good. I want him to look nice. Excuse me, dear. Thorny will probably have his kid all decked up. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a beloved 1952 TV series, deeply resonated with audiences of the time. The show's portrayal of a typical American family struck a chord with viewers across the nation, reflecting the values and dynamics of post-World War II society. By showcasing everyday family life, it influenced pop culture by shaping the image of the ideal American family. Moreover, the series contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes by addressing topics such as family relationships, friendships, and teenage experiences. The show provided a glimpse into the lives of the Nelson family, exploring issues that were relatable to many viewers. Through its portrayal of family interactions and challenges, the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet highlighted the importance of communication, understanding, and unity within families. Overall, the cultural and social impact of the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was significant, as it not only entertained audiences but also provided a reflection of the values and norms of the time. The show's influence on pop culture, along with its exploration of relevant social and cultural themes, helped solidify its place in television history. We have a lovely home. Thanks. Uh, we're each The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, received positive critical reception. Critics praised its wholesome family-oriented themes and relatable storylines. Audiences also reacted favorably, connecting with the show's portrayal of everyday family life. The series garnered multiple awards and nominations, including Emmy nominations for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Comedy and Best New Personality. These accolades were significant for those involved in the series. Winning awards and receiving nominations validated their hard work and talent. It also boosted the show's reputation and increased viewership, leading to further success and recognition in the entertainment industry. I was about 14, I would say. Hey, that's just about Will's age. How does he like the idea? Well, unfortunately, he... As the crew gathered for the filming of the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, an atmosphere of camaraderie filled the set. The cast, including Ozzy, Harriet, and their sons, often shared laughs in between scenes. Ozzy Nelson had a knack for bringing humor into everyday moments. One time, he decided to play a prank on the sound crew by removing the labels from the microphones. Confused, they struggled to match the right mic with the right actor, only to realize Ozzy was behind the mix-up. Harriet Nelson, while a professional, never hesitated to share her thoughts on her character. During a filming day, she suggested a change to a scene's dialogue, claiming it did not fit her character's personality. The writers often appreciated her insights, leading to stronger storylines. The boys, David and Ricky, enjoyed their roles, but what they loved most was the occasional surprise visit of celebrity guest stars, which made each episode feel special. In those moments, friendships blossomed. They shared meals together, and the energy was contagious, with everyone eager to contribute to the show's charm. The hardworking crew navigated challenges, like managing unexpected weather or technical difficulties, but their unity helped smooth over any bumps along the way. Creativity ruled the set allowing Ozzy and Harriet to shine as their family-oriented stories unfolded, drawing millions of viewers into their world. The warmth and genuine spirit that filled the filming space turned an ordinary set into a place where fond memories were made and lasting connections were formed. Have a good time, Rick. Thank you, sir. Yes, uh, have a good time, son. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a TV series from 1952, holds a significant place in film history. It was one of the longest-running live-action sitcoms in the United States. The show's influence on future filmmaking can be seen in its portrayal of a typical American family and everyday life. The series inspired other family-oriented programs and paved the way for more realistic and relatable storytelling on television. Its legacy continues to impact how family dynamics are depicted in entertainment media. Rick.
Better make that three quarts. Maybe you and David will like some, too. Are you a fan of the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet? Share your stories and how this classic series influenced your love for cinema. Your experiences matter. Engage with us through likes, shares, and subscriptions. Let's explore more cinematic wonders together. This kid to show David up. Sounds ridiculous. Oh, Thorny's a pretty ridiculous guy at times.